right, so let's go for speed test, also for the hill test, and see how the actually torque sensor works on this bicycle, and go over some uh, other like um, riding experience. So as always, I'll go to the same spot where I test all my bicycles, and let's go. So throttle only. It's about 13 on the GPS, 15 on GPS on display, 23 miles. 19, 21 on GPS. I'll go with GPS. 21 on GPS. 22 on GPS. And display show me 28 miles, which is not accurate. So basically, it's going only 22 miles so far. So the bike going about 22 miles, the GPS show me like 28. So the GPS and display have different numbers and uh, I now I always try to go with GPS because probably different size of the tires I need to input in settings and in order to change it you have to have password and I don't have a password for that so let's go with pedal assist actually level 3 and it's torque sensor so basically you have to pedal it in order to go fast so it's 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 I can feel the power cut off so I can feel the power cut off. So from this pet test I understand that display and GPS show different numbers. So about 23 maximum speed was reached, but then the power cut off. So this bicycle going 23 miles. Maybe I need to change something in the settings, then it will go faster as they claim to be about 25 26 miles an hour which is pretty decent for cargo bike but i do feel like torque in this bike that's why i want to take it to hill test and to see if it can go uphill i think i can pedal long distance on this bike easily because the handlebar this grips very comfortable actually very nice very nice i like it this grips very nice um so first pedal assist level is uh 12 miles an hour and i, I pedaling comfortably and i i can feel the torque sensor so if i just pedal like ghost pedaling it will not move like activate the pedal assist but when i push on the bike I can hear and I feel the motor kick in. So I'm gonna turn off the power now. Uh, so basically to go pedal assist level zero and switching to probably, yeah, uh, gear number four and pedal like a regular bicycle. I'll go with GPS, so now I'm about nine miles an hour. Pedaling pretty nicely. It's not really hard and if your battery is dead or if you want just to ride as a bicycle, you can still do it. Yeah, there is seven speed. Now I'm on speed number four. Yeah, I can go number three. Will be even, you have to pedal faster, but it will be much easier. And yes, you can use this bicycle as a regular bicycle. The position is good. I think I have the seat too high for me right now so i can go even low if i want to or higher because the seat is, has enough space to adjust it so let's go testing the brakes as well so i'm gonna go to pedal assist level three go around the corner here and running is good it's very um, good stable bicycle actually the torque is kicking in very well. So I can feel the torque really kicking. Now we're gonna do some uh, brake test. So I'll go about until stop sign and then we'll brake. So 
So we are on 90 miles an hour, 20, and then I'll break. So I get about three meters away, almost on half street. So yeah, the mechanical brakes are working okay, but they are not the best. Uh, again, um, at speed 22 miles an hour, it's pretty safe to ride with mechanical brakes 180 millimeters, and I can feel the torque. The torque on the throttle, thumb throttle, I like thumb throttle, it's kicking very well, it's even lifts the front wheel, so the fork I can feel like, and the fork actually nice, so it's very comfortable, smooth ride on this bicycle. And now we're gonna go for hill test riding and see how the bicycle perform up to the hill, if it can really go uphill. So currently we are very close to the hill, also I notice the speed, um, like uh, the torque sensor works kind of a little bit different right now. I am on pedal seat level 1 and I'll show you, if I'm going like pushing harder, it can go 11, if I push even harder, it will go to 17 miles, 18, so basically up to the top on the pedal seat level 1. So regardless which pedal assist I switch, it will still go to the top speed. So something to do with the settings, and I don't have access to settings because I have password. So I'm going to contact Sinada Bikes to see if they can provide me the settings password so I can change it most likely. Also the, the speed most likely is, was uh, for level 2, and maybe I need to change to level 3. If they give me the success, so I will change it. And I'll do another video maybe with a retest the speed. So now let's go for climbing, throttle only. Very high steep hill over here. So going about 12 miles, 40 miles, and see how far we can go on the 500 watt power motor. So 13, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6. So it's pulling 6 miles, 5 miles an hour. So, um, see if it can even pull up to the hill. I can still balance at 5 miles an hour. And motor works just fine, but 5 miles an hour. Uh, last uh, 500 motors, I think, stop right over here, I believe. But let's see, my 360 camera turn off. Usually, <laughs> again, on this spot, I'm not sure what's going on. Now I'm about 4 miles an hour. But I will still give a chance if it can climb up to the tops of this hill, about four miles now. Or I can hear the motor starts to work louder, maybe overheating. But still pulling four miles an hour, five miles an hour, four. So based on the GPS, four miles an hour, still pulling. I'll give a chance to get uphill because many 750 motors would not get up to the top so if I'm passing the point many bikes would stop here so still pulling up even at four miles an hour still pulling up and I have good feeling now that it will make it uphill regardless of the speed still made it four miles an hour which is very slow but the fact is that it's made it, which is good, and, yep, so we're all the way on the top of this hill, let me turn around so you can see the hill, it's very steep, very steep hill over here, but it's made it uphill, which is really great, even the slow speed, so the torque, it's not, it's working pretty good actually. All right, guys, so after the first pit test, I find this uh, uh, display show different speed versus to GPS, so I contact Sinada Bikes. They gave me password code, which is 1212, and to go to the settings and change the diameter of the wheel, because the wheel was set to 29 inches, which is incorrect, so I set it up to 24 inches and see if the speed change and if it will be accurate. So I hope it will go up to the higher speed. So let's go for speed test, throttle only, and to see how fast it will go. I'll go with GPS again. GPS, it's uh, 14 miles an hour, 16, 
17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. So far 25 miles an hour. On this place showing me 27. 20, yeah. So it was solid 25 miles an hour. So uh, looks like um, I'm gonna try right now to change to 23 diameter and see if the speed change. Okay, so I change the settings to 23 inch diameter wheels right now and I'll go to the same road because they're usually different and see if it will get to 25 miles an hour and if the diameters of the wheel will make this uh, display more accurate with GPS. So let's go. And what the top speed? So it's uh, gonna be 30 miles an hour on GPS, 16, 18 on GPS, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, it hit 25, yeah 25. Actually the top speed was 25 miles, exactly the same as previous test, but display was very uh, more accurate, much more accurate. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend to change to uh, diameter of 23 in settings. And if you want to see how to do the setting change, comment below. I'll post separate video with uh, how to enter the code, how to do the settings. And I didn't tighten up very well handlebar. So make sure you tighten up. I'm not sure if it's an issue with that, uh, but you need to tighten up very well this handlebar, otherwise it will move when you brake, very dangerous. So make sure you tighten up. I did tighten up, it's supposed to be based on the new, to new meter stock, but it still moved. Also, I don't want to give you wrong information, like, uh, yes, the pedal assist level one, two, three, useful. You can use all of them and uh, the difference I'll give you again. Uh, so right now I'm pushing like softly, it's going 10 miles an hour. If I switch to level two, with the same power i pushing, not harder, it will start to go faster. If I go to level three, it will go faster so I don't have to push harder. But it's all depend on your level of uh, exercise. If you want to exercise harder and better, Level 1 can go all the way to 22, but if you want just continuously go faster but without pushing hard, then you just simply switch pedal assist to level 3 and it will continuously give you more power. So it does uh, really make difference between content sensors and torque sensors of course. So the torque sensor uh, many people prefer right now because they can feel like um, it's like really exercise bicycle uh, really give you good experience by just pushing the pedals as much as you want to and you can uh, work out but if you have a bad knees some people prefer to go with content sensors but i noticed you don't have to push very hard on this bicycle to go fast because you can switch the pedal seat so if you ask me which one i would prefer a torque sensor like or versus content sensors um, I like actually throttle, it's very kind of power, like gave you a good kick on this. But I prefer torque sensors uh, on this bicycle uh, versus to content sensors for exercise. If you don't want to get exercise, if your knees are hurt, some content sensor might be better. But again, um, you get better experience on with torque sensors as a bicycle, like traditional. So you just pedal it and the more harder you pedal, then faster it will go and it will give you better assist. Also, it will save more battery. So basically, this battery will last longer versus the content sensor because if you use only torque sensors, it will give you more like uh, power as needed, not just keep going because if you pedal with the content sensor, it will just keep going fast. With torque sensors, like right now, I'm pedaling only seven miles an hour. And if I push it, it will start to kick in. So basically I can still pedal without really hard pushing, like almost ghost pedaling, so it will be slow. So that's a big difference between condensed sensors and torque sensors. Uh, 
I like both, depend on the bicycle and depend on what I need from, but it's become very popular right now, torque sensors, and again, it's a great bicycle, just um, great for a new, like, new person who never rode an electric bicycle, because the difference, once you start to ride it, it will give you more power as you need it when you push the pedals with condensed sensor it will just kick in regardless of how much you push on the pedal and uh, i think it's much better for people who never rode electric bicycle to use torque sensor because torque sensor are a little bit smoother right and better uh, and that's about it for today i like this bicycle so far thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video